what's up guys not the winner here and we're back um we're gonna be taking on that pretty dangerous zone now let's read this sometimes sold as butterfly egg so we want to equip that but it's an item so it's not equipable sadly boo that would have been so dope 60 hit points all right Imperial Seal is definitely something that we want to equip to someone, though. We got one on this guy, and it's pretty darn powerful. I would rather have it than this Sash. Uh, but this guy's already pretty beefy. Let's give it to someone who needs to be a bit tankier. I thought I gave him... I definitely gave him the last uh, armor. One, two, three. No, three. I bought four. Where's the four? <laughs> so I guess it's something messed up with what this printy had equipped because he should have the fourth thingy on right now. Or maybe I'm just blind and missing something. Alright, well, let's give this person that gun. So they at least have something. Uh... So instead of Vinyl Cloth for 5 defense, let's give them the Imperial Seal. I know it's just a printy, but... Okay, here we go. Kung Fu Muscle, 77 hit points. And that's why you go get treated often. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so some of these people need some beefy hit points to be useful. Uh, otherwise, they get wrecked too easily. I think as much as I want to get this thief up to par... It might be best to give it to either Superfly or Dogger so that he can really just, like, shine. I kind of want to. I really want to, actually. Look at that. He would be so beefy all of a sudden. He's not getting much damage out or anything like that, though. Like, these guys can get damage. So, let's see. Currently, you are using a Brawny Muscle, but it's only 20 hit points. And you have your Joji outfit for the other bit. And a pot lid. Setsuna. The power belt's not really viable for her, but it's fine. Sardine Thief. You know what? Let's help out our Sardine Thief. They got a couple of these sashes, but the vinyl cloth is terrible. Um, so we have a Kung Fu Muscle, a Psycho Orb, which would be huge resistance, or an Imperial Seal. I'll give her the Imperial Seal, and then Psycho Orb. Do we give it to one of these level ones? I think Setsuna. I want it for her. Or, I mean, uh, Kung Fu Muscle. Because resistance, hit points. Cool. Alright. I guess let's try our best. Let's get another save since we just... I don't know why I keep going down there. Let's get another save since we uh, just adjusted a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> keep it on slot 3, though. Cool. Let's check out Item World and see how we uh, handle ourselves. Thank you for my five Mr. Gent seats. Uh, so let's go to Item World. So the Psycho Orb's 8+. plus. We probably don't want to risk that right now. Uh, we already just got a better sword, so I kind of don't want to do the Cutlass. But I would want something that someone can actually use. Maybe we start with Sardine Bone. That's so weak, though. I think we just go for the Cutlass. We gotta... Well, that's an inconvenient start.
I feel like that's a horrible spot. Um. All right, let's grab someone beefy for this then. I'll just take my main character. Why can't he lift? Can he lift it now? Okay. So this is what we'll do. We'll move him up on here and then have him use his Impaler Prince. Destroying all of those. Let's see how it goes. Come on. It missed the box. But it did kill both of those, so that's a good start. The Blader Sniper is probably going to be the only other one that can hit me other than that thing. So let's get over and kill this guy first. Counter, counter. Cool. Um, I got this. Oh, you can speed through those by clicking Y. That's cool. We're going to end turn, let them come to us a little. Oh. One of them's hiding in a box. Interesting. I kind of want to get the bonus combo. <laughs> you know, like, it seems like in here it would be quite valuable. Uh, let's see. Do I want to screw people over? Kind of. Let's do it. What happens? Just the one block? No. All oh, wow. I may have made a mistake. But also probably should have done that one from the start. Jeez. Okay, so it did get me a nice combo. It allows me to move this guy out. Yeah. And that allows me to bring in the healer. Move her slightly off. Ideal. I mean, will it be worth it? Perish. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wait a turn. Shouldn't kill him since it's just one space. Nice. Okay, so that brought us to a 5 multiplier. We'll take that. Fenric, you can come on out because we're going to hit you with a Setsuna heal right here. <clears throat> I'll show you, sardine power. you stand up at the front, draw their attention, get the caster in line, our Sardine Thief in place, and then finally, our Star Prinny. Oh, I'm ready. And we'll end turn there. I think this will be more than enough. Buddy. 
Nice. So we're on B2 now. Let's turn this. Looks like it's a common treasure chest. There's a couple destroyables there. Uh, I... Ooh, what are you? Okay, nothing. Uh, do I just bring out... Oh, because he's going to wreck shop. See how that goes. Was it worth it? That's awesome because that kind of puts them nice and out of the way. Quick fireball over here. Nice. <laughs> I forget what the zoom out command is. Would be nice. We'll just deal with it. Counter, counter. And... <clears throat> That'll do it. Now move on in. Oh, it just moves. Nice. Yeah, so, I mean, the difference is we would have been able to get a bunch more money and potentially gotten up to the hard candy if we were super lucky, but I doubt it. Not too worried about those kind of drops, not gonna lie. Okay, so this one, if we did red, it would turn all green to red, which would... not set off anything else. Uh, if we did the purple one, that sets off null. So we want purple to be last. So we need blue to trigger just before purple. No. Yeah. 
Um, actually, no, because I would make all purple, which would cause blue. Is already purple, so it doesn't matter. So if we turn all purples to blue, though, that turns the yellow. Yellow doesn't turn anything else. Man. But if we attack the green, it turns all red to green. Nothing else is touching red. If we do the red, it turns all green to red. Why are none touching? That's annoying. Alright. Guess we just play it. Is there a zoom out? No, I know that. Whatever. Nothing too crazy on the effects. I'm cool with all that. Uh, let's take out the acolyte first. This guy and his ball busting. Like, calm down, buddy. Don't have to bust everyone's balls. Skip through a few of the animations now, guys. All right. So let's go here so you can start your attack. Let me get a counter counter. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's see what they do. Still not enough. <clears throat> that gets that one, thankfully.
the treasure chest. Oh, we don't get to open treasure chest. Okay, we unlock zombies. That would turn all yellows. Yeah. What is it sitting on? It's sitting on yellow. Okay. Um. So turn all yellows to green. Turn all greens to null. That doesn't do anything for our blues and red friends yet. But if we were to be smart, we might consider doing something like this, where one of us goes here. Why can't you lift? Oh, because it's on its own color square already? Alright, let's try it. Satsuna, so move here. Probably should have used someone who can actually deal a bit more damage. Let's go Soda. Yeah, that's perfect. Move here. Special fire. Execute! That nullified those squares. <clears throat> and gets me a couple extra bonus points for basically doing nothing. And all they got left is recovery and mighty enemy squares. Not sure exactly. No damage taken by enemies on this panel. Okay, so we don't want them to stand on blue spaces, but there's only two blue spaces. So we should be okay there. So soon, uh... We'll just go with that for now. Oh, I see. So the blue one moves each turn, so if it gets into the right position by, say, getting onto a red space, then you could activate all in one turn. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. How low is he? Not low enough. Alright, let's send you over. You can move in so you can get the kill as clean up if he can. <clears throat> nice. Nice clean up. Big. Come on. Counter, counter. Both of you. Perfect. Oh, and it's still not dead. He's down to two health. That's fine. Leaves us only with one true enemy. heal over on this guy he's gonna get his combo bonus or whatever uh so attack attack with a fire
Ooh, rapid fire. Steel bow. So it looks like there's a couple good drops starting to come down. We got a 1400 destroy bonus. Like, we're starting to get a really nice amount from this. Ooh, level 5 check. Leveling your item and improving your innocence. I remember improving your innocence being huge. Oh, yeah, we want some wild innocence, guys. Uh, so the route that we're going to take is... Branching D gate to the innocent boost. Item boost. What's this mystery gate? Advance to the mystery room. I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm checking it out. Here I come. If I pull this off right, then I can get him there in one turn. If he hasn't moved yet... Hold on, let me try this. As long as he hasn't moved, he should be able to move, right? Here I come. Correct. Mystery room! Oh, crap. Level 14 treasure warden. Legendary treasure. Alright. Valuable item in the treasure world, huh? I mean, I'll gladly challenge you, man. What do you want me to do? Oh, okay, yeah, just the dimension guide. We're okay. I I thought for a second that that was part of the fight. Uh, we're okay now. Make sure. Okay. Cool. Alright, time to begin. I just want to test something. So he only gets the one ally regardless, so I could have just chained it all. But, 60 damage, and then he gets an immediate counter instead of me getting to chain everything. That worked. That worked. That was kind of ideal. Hey, the squad. Four person team ganging up there. Wow. Not bad. Oh no, we didn't destroy the chest. No. No, we have to attack the chest too. I'm an idiot. Is there, like, an autosave right before that? Damn it. Okay, so remember, guys, you have to destroy chests. And now I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on... Oh, wait, no, no, I get to choose still. Okay, cool. Do we just bum rush? I feel like we do. Same kind of strategy as before. But... Oh, clicking the wrong button. So I, I'm thinking multiple goers. So he's going to be first mover. I'll show you sardine power. That's the furthest that they can throw him. But if we get someone else thrown over there who can run over and pick him up and throw him again. I 
I don't know how far you can throw Setsuna, but we're gonna find out. If you get to there... Hmm. Because I won't be able to lift them from there. So I gotta throw them further forward. And he's... Still can't make it by one. That's brutal. Alright. Mostly everyone should survive everything. That's cool, it's a hammer. Ideal. We'll take. So he's blocking the exit now. What a jerk. So we tried for the speed strat, now we actually gotta get the kills. So first off, uh, he's gonna need heals. We'll figure it out. I haven't used that once. Can hit like four enemies, right? Alright, let's see if everyone can pull this off. <clears throat> Ronnie Muscle. I think we'll pull this off without anyone going down. Plus, we actually have items we haven't used any yet. Like, for example, if I said... Oh, cool. Well, I guess I'll just have a caterpillar egg real quick. Because I'm standing in a space that gives me defense minus 50. That's probably the only reason why they're getting much damage off. Counter, counter. So that's another one down. We'll, uh, end turn there. And I want to get some counters this time. There we go. And, uh, while we have the opportunity, healer, heal yourself. End turn. Well, not end turn, but execute. And you can move here. Ooh, an innocent. Ah, uh, no, not normal rules. 
So yeah, I mean, level 8 Ariana. Let's uh, try and unlock this rock golem. Or are we just going to be a jerk and kill everyone with a... Uh, so if I hit yellow, it turns all purples to yellow. I believe blue is sitting on a purple. Nope, blue is supposedly sitting on a blue. Purple's sitting on a green. Green is sitting on a blue. Okay, so if we attack green, it turns all greens, or all uh, blues to green. Then that would explode blue turning all greens to blue, which would explode purple, turning all greens to purple, which would explode red also. Yeah, so we're going to be a jerk. <laughs> we got to destroy green. There it is. No. Uh, I'll try it again. Oh, green moved. That ruined the whole plan. Dang it. Alright, so that innocent's gonna get wrecked unless we get down there soon. So that ruined the whole plan, so we're actually gonna go for the save now. Fenric, you can get all the way up in there, nice. Why would we attack Ariana? Where are we supposed to kill the innocents? I totally Everyone, forget. Send him over here. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's go, Let's go. My lord. Let's go. My lord. Come on, let me kill this one. Okay, at least we got one kill. Two kills. So close. So this one can die in an instant. But let's let's do this. Oh, they both missed. There's no point in bringing them out. Yep. Nice counter. Alright, Brenny, get out of the way. Can I attack down to him like that? I didn't think so. And now you can get your heal off. So 
he was the only one who didn't really move too much. Bring him over here and see if he can do his blade rush there. Big hit. So we're already at B7. Not too much more to go. Um... Okay, so there's no innocent, but wait, we didn't kill that guy, right? I don't think we killed that guy. I hope we didn't. Did we kill the innocent? Oh my gosh. Let me know. <laughs> I have not played this game in way too long. I'm making so many mistakes. So I could turn all blues to greens, which would do nothing. Um, Because the blue is sitting on yellow and so is the red. But if I hit either one of those, then that would be enough, really. Because if we hit the blue first, then it turns all yellows to blue, which also explodes red, turning all of them to red, which explodes green. Okay, so we need to destroy blue first. And is there a safe space to stand on to do it? There will not be on turn one. Hmm. I'm going to have to get Soda over there. Everyone, let's go. So this is what we'll do. We'll send him out. Wait. One too many squares. No, like three too many squares. But let's do a blade rush over at these guys, right? No, I have to be able to land on the platform. Okay, that makes sense, guys. Makes sense. Alright, so... If we need to get her safely over there, then we're gonna want two things to happen here. One, for her to not die immediately. And two for her to get a heal. Granted, that heal is going to run back into the safety of the net on the next turn. Which means that Fenric, if, if I can bring him out... Okay. Let's see how it goes. That's exactly what I wanted so far. All of those guys are going back on their next turn, except for uh, main character and the fire mage. The fact that that one moved to the yellow space may have completely destroyed this. Wait, it's saying it's on a blue space. Either way, I think that's going to completely destroy this, because it's the null one that ends it. It was in a perfect spot before for the end of the chain. Also, this guy's being a jerk. Um, yeah, because if it deletes them in the middle of the chain, then the whole chain is broken. But I think it would go yellow, yellow, right? But this would turn all of them blue, and that turns all of them red. Wait, were we trying to attack the red one the whole time? Am I an idiot? <laughs> Could we have pulled that off last turn? Because these were both on yellow, right? So if it turned everything red first, it would pop the blue. Which would turn everything blue, which would pop that one. Um, and this one. So we can actually still pull this off. We just need to attack red like we initially planned. Um, that's frustrating as well that we could have just done it last turn. Well, probably not because she couldn't get to the space without being thrown. You know what? No, no, because no, if she goes, then she can't get to safety.
be screwed if this doesn't work. Hey. Okay, so no. <laughs> we totally did it wrong. I was I, I I was probably right before with having to destroy the blue one where it was or something. But no, it was chilling on a blue spot, so I don't know. Everyone, let's go. But we got a new uh chance now. Nice. I think we'll end turn there. Ah, teleport squares. Haha. -ha. I have bested your squares. Alright. So this one's on a blue square. This one's on its own square. And this one's on a red square. So. If we hit the green one, it turns all red to green. And then the red one would turn all green to red. So this one's on a blue square, which kind of does nothing since we don't have a blue block. Alright, I think I got my strat. Hey, <laughs> big skips. I mean, of course I'm going to the mystery gate. Are you kidding me? Boo. Uh, is that all you got? I hate how the other one kicked me out that has the treasure chest, but that one I actually had to ask to leave. Alright, so red's on red. Blue is on blue. Green is on blue. And null's on yellow. So if I destroy the green one, it turns all of the blue to green, which destroys the blue, turning all the green to blue. Does nothing about the red, and it's kind of pointless. Cool. Boom. Here I come. Nice. C -c combo breaker. That's actually pretty sweet. Too bad it dealt zero damage. Well, 
They're just outclassed for this part of the game. We'll just have to focus on that mushroom and get out of here. They'll be the fodder distracting everything. Oh, it won't even let me lift him. Ooh, just not enough. But at least she gets to assist him. Still not enough. Hey, Gurkha, okay. On the last wave, losing a couple printies. Stinks, but, you know. I'm kind of here for that. Okay, that clears that, and you know what? We could have gotten some nice bonuses on some of these maps if we'd only done the full clears. And the extra XP, like... Counter counter? GG. What? Still got some life in it. Well then. Weird. Couldn't hit him from up there. You know what? Oh yeah, he just wanted that last kill. Well, let's go ahead and... Are you out of SP? Oh, dang, good for you. Oh yeah, they really just don't want me to leave. There it goes. Yeah, because I don't know if we were getting these on the ones where I just walked right through without killing everything. Oh, we got a new build that we can do. Okay, so we're on stage 10. This is where we should be able to choose to exit, I thought. Not continue. Perish. Well, if that's Everyone, the case, go. we're going to go for cheese maneuver just to try and make it. And we're going to take, instead of item upgrades, we're going to take this and back to the base map. Cool. So five cleared, five skipped. Ten total level ups for the weapon. Uh, so it's now a level 10 weapon, 60 attack instead of 30. So we've doubled its attack just like that. Uh, 84 residents encountered, 53 killed. We killed 63% of guys. And then, and all of this, all of this was just to upgrade that one weapon, which I already have a better Gurkha for. And I believe we got a new Gurkha on this mission. That's actually better than the one I'm using. 98. So let's, uh, because this one's 76, yeah. Seven to hit's nice, but, I mean, it's kind of beefy. 
So we'll throw that one on. And then we also got some other stuff, like this brawny muscle. This one's only 25 HP. Um, it's better than my first brawny muscle, but not that great overall. Other than that, we got a couple extra weapons that aren't super high tier. Going to be sold or used just to do some more runs of uh, that spot. And then Innocent, like Amnesiac 1. So those are the Innocents. So had I done the right thing with that Innocent and whatever it might have been, not killed him, <laughs> uh, then I would have gotten the Amnesiac 1 or maybe a different one. Cool. So far, the stats are starting to look a little bit higher. We're starting to get some more skills. We earned 12k on that run. Let's get a big heal going. So treat everyone. That got us a charred newt. That's a big heal right there. And then we can talk to these guys. Actually, I will take those Jijo outfits. It's a huge defensive boost that would work on a lot of my characters. Hey, customer rank up, which means that we can petition for better loot again. Alright, so let's take a look. Hannibal, you're using vinyl cloth and nothing for your last slot. Pretty apron's not that bad, actually. But let's give him the Jijo that gives... We'll take this one for the resistance. So I think those boots are like 10. And if we give him a second Jijo, then he'd easily be a frontline tank. Yeah, he's super tanky now. Since we can take risks and do those skips, I think this is definitely something that we gotta consider moving forward. And like take off this sash. Go ahead and put on another one of these for this guy. Did I only oh I was gonna say did I only get two? Uh so I lose eight hit points, we get way, way tankier out of it. Overall it's only gonna help. And we gotta get some better weapons for everyone else, so Let's go get some uh, campaign HQ stuff done. That's what I love about this game. It's There's so much to do, and it seems unmanageable, but it is very, very manageable. Uh, and this is like just such a classic game to have so much content in it. It was mind-blowing at the time. Still pretty mind-blowing now when I think about it. Um, actually... Let's go ahead and place the training ground. And we're going to move some people. Now, Senate hearing. They might not like me. 75% versus 84%. And he's got way more mana, so it's kind of smarter to do it with him. The whole point is I'm trying to build up my favor with Velvet Torres, though. Let's do it. Leaning. Total. Yeah, so most of them are already leaning for. I don't really need to bribe anyone, but like, let's see if this guy wants some stuff. You take vinyl cloth? Bet. So glasses, 5 in, 12 hit, actually kind of nice. Oh, I, did I did I give her something accidentally? Please tell me I didn't. Whatever, let's do our vote. Look at all these nays. Quit being jerks. 
All of you guys are saying you're in my favor. All right, so now we can return to the base and uh, see what kind of new equipment we can buy. So now we got Doctor's Coats, which not only do they have high defense, they're giving SP on the standard and then also seem to give other stats like int resistance, SP, and speed, uh, or HP and speed. Uh, hunting Caps. So these go in ETC armor as well. These cost quite a bit more, but they're 66 base armor and can give you like 20 extra hit points and hit. Ooh. These are nice. Okay, cool. So that's the new tier there. What about weapons? So I can only try what I can afford. That's funny. I just kind of wanted to see the comparison of this compared to uh, the other one. But look, rarity, 226. It does have 7 coach, but... 95 speed, 88 attack, right? This one, 95 speed, 88 attack, an extra 16 resistance, has the 7 coach, but also has an extra 12 physician and 4 physician. Rarity 78. So is lower rarity better? It's tough. But yeah, it does look like we got... New Fist Weapons, which is huge. Uh, the Night Saber, but, I mean, that's basically the same power as something that I have on equipped right now. Um, some of these spears are a bit better than the sword I'm using. A way better gun. Wow, a couple way better guns. A nice axe that we can swap on the main guys. A couple... Uh, Ooh, the Undead Rod, 61 in. For only 3k? I'm taking that. With all those tutors on it, doesn't tutor help you level up fast? And an R8 mischief for the creatures. Spiky Shell as well. Okay. <laughs> pretty, pretty darn good. We're going to get super powerful at this rate. Um, first things first. So we bought only one weapon. What was it? <laughs> it was the staff. So instead of a glass staff, we got the undead rod. 53 more intelligence, 11 more attack. And then that allows me to give Superfly a glass staff, which is a nice buff for them as well. Team's actually looking quite nice. Let's go ahead and get a another heal just to be safe. Cool. And uh, let's go ahead and save it here, guys. If you guys enjoyed watching this or want to see more of this or notice that I'm doing something incredibly stupid that I could be doing way smarter, please let me know in the comments down below. I mess up all the time. I find it hilarious, and I love when other people see it too. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.